Bruce Johnson right-wing tribune, amid the efforts of liberals to strip our gun rights away, many gun rights advocates are staging peaceful rallies across the country to make our voices heard. We are fighting the recent efforts to impose stricter gun control laws that they fear undermine our Second Amendment rights. Peaceful protesters numbering in the hundreds gathered outside state houses from Maine to Wyoming to hear speakers warn that any restrictions on gun ownership or use could eventually lead to bans for law-abiding gun owners, Fox News reports. Gun owners have been portrayed in a negative way and it is our hope that this peaceful rally will show that we are safe law-abiding individuals that happen to take our constitutional rights very seriously, Dave Gulia, an organizer for the main event that attracted about 800 people, told the Bangor Daily News, it's our turn as gun owners to come out and show our numbers, Gulia said, any restriction completely goes against our rights. Between 600 and 800 people gathered from 2p.m to 4 p.m. in the plaza between the State House and the Cross State Office Building, according to an estimated crowd count by Capitol Police. YouTube video courtesy of Steve F. Rasher billed as the Americans for America rally. Many rally-goers held American flags and implored the country to come together, according to Wabi. Under a gray cloudy sky, they carried signs that read, Let teachers protect my life now. And gun-free zones kill tweeted Maine Public Radio, protesters in Vermont took to the steps of the State House in Montpelier, where days earlier they felt gov. Phil Scott betrayed them when he signed three major gun control measures. Three days ago, on these steps, we were betrayed, Joe Nagel told the Burlington Free Press, we were promised no new gun laws. The paper reported that the National Rifle Association criticized Scott, a Republican, and called on gun owners to abandon the governor, who changed his stance in February after an alleged school shooting plot shook the state. Saturday's protests came less than three weeks after hundreds of thousands marched in Washington, New York and elsewhere to demand tougher gun laws after the February 14 school shooting in Parkland, Florida, that killed 17. Organizers of those protests demanded a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines and called for universal background checks on potential gun owners. Fox News reported, pro-gun protesters also showed up in Boston, Indianapolis, Albany, New York, Austin, Texas, Des Moines, Iowa, and other cities. John Nagel had a message Saturday afternoon for his fellow pro-gun activists, step up and run for office, we've got to stop being quiet. The Colchester resident said to the crowd of camouflaged and orange-clad people who braved icy rain and sleet to rally on the steps of the State House, where three days earlier Gov. Phil Scott signed three bills tightening Vermont's gun laws. Several other speakers said they would be challenging sitting legislators, even in Democratic strongholds like Chittenden County, or encouraged others to do so as the state's gun activists turn their attention to long-term strategy. We all have to fight for our rights. When we give them an inch, they take a mile. God bless. Bruce Johnson right-wing Tribune Be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.